The Universal logo sequence plays that forbidding track ripped from Romero's Dawn of the Dead. The movie opens up with our protagonist of the film, Sean, sitting in the Winchester bar with his best friend Ed, his girlfriend Liz, and Liz's two best friends David and Diane, which those two are dating. Liz expresses her issues about always going to pubs with their friends and never getting special alone time. Sean promises to change, starting with booking a date for the two of them at a fancy fish restaurant the next day. In the morning, Pete, Sean and Ed's other roommate, discusses his issues with Ed's living habits, and very obviously, Ed and Pete don't get along. At work, the store is actually called Foree Electric, which if you don't know is a reference to Ken Foree, a main character from Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Sean runs into his stepdad, Philip, who reminds him to get his mom flowers, and also finds out that he has red on him. Sean makes a flower run for his mom when he sees this crazy dude chasing pigeons. As Sean makes his way home, he runs into an old friend, Yvonne, who reminds him about booking that date with Liz. Quickly getting home after the realization, Sean attempts to book a date at the Full Cheese restaurant, but fails. Shortly after, Liz rings Sean and hopeful, Sean asks if she'd like to return to the Winchester that night due to the full cheese restaurant being packed, resulting in a very angry Liz. Desperate, Sean goes over, offers the flowers he got his mom, and gets dumped by Liz. Feeling bad for his homie, Ed takes Sean out to the Winchester for a fun night of drinks and later witnesses a zombie. Well, quite a few actually, but don't realize because they had one too many drinks. Keeping the fun going, they decide to blare Hip Hop Bebop by Man Parish. This wakes up Pete, infuriating him and tossing out Sean's record. Later, he reveals to the two that he was bitten that night by some crackhead. The next morning, Sean takes his usual routine to the convenience store, but this time it's overrun by zombies. However, Sean is completely oblivious and makes his way home without ever realizing a thing. When he gets home, Ed informs him that there's a girl in the garden. Confused, they venture out to see what the deal is. After talking to her, throwing rocks at her, and pushing her onto a metal pole which punctures her tummy, they realize it's not just a regular person, that's a mother heckin' zombie. They go back inside and prepare for the war with the backyard intruders. They use dishes and kitchen utensils, records, but finally get their signature weapons, the cricket bat and shovel, eradicating these backyard fools. After a nice day of hard work in the garden, they decide to have a sit down and watch the news. They quickly learn that the infection spreads through bites. Remembering Pete, they call for him from downstairs, but come to the conclusion he's at work. Sean makes a wee before leaving to his mom's and Liz's house to ensure their safety, when he finds a zombified Pete in the shower. He makes a run for it, and the two flee the flat. They get to Barbara's house, which is Sean's mom. Ed watches the car, while Sean gets his mom and stepdad to leave the house to get to the Winchester. On the way out, Ed tells Sean he wrecked the car in order to drive Philip's 1986 Jaguar. As Sean turns to tell Philip, Philip actually gets bitten. The four scramble to get in the Jag and drive off to Liz's. Sean gets out and tells the others to drive around and wait for him. He runs to Liz's, climbs up the window, and advises them to leave with him. Following his requests, they make their way back to the Jag and cram in. On the road, Philip finally turns into a zombie, making the group disband the car and locking Philip in. The group makes their way through backyards in order to get to the Winchester. After taking Zed out in one of the backyards, the group practices their acting skills and portrays zombies in order to get through a mob that's between them and the Winchester. They almost successfully make it silently until David throws a trash can at the window to create an entrance, alerting all of the zombies. Sean creates a diversion to attract all the zombies away from the group. After waiting for hours, David assumes Sean died in the process and deems to take over as leader. The group argues with him about his choice and Sean shows back up silencing the entire debate. After chilling in the bar for a bit, Ed decides to play his favorite game, Ooh Ah Dracula, which is just an ear rape to the entire surrounding area. This alerts all the zombies in the area and they start trying to break in. One happens to be inside as well, showing up behind David. The jukebox randomly turns on and plays Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. David tries to turn it off in order to keep even more zombies from showing up. In the meantime, Sean, Liz, and Ed attempt to kill the Zed in a number of ways. Finally, Sean forces the zombie's head into the jukebox, killing him and killing the music. The armada of zombies start breaking in and Sean prepares to defend themselves with a Winchester rifle Ed found behind the counter. After missing several shots and killing one, he runs over to Liz, who is tending to his mom. The group finds out that she was bitten by that zombie in the backyard earlier, and taking no chances, David prepares to shoot her. This causes a dispute within the group, and Sean threatens to kill David. David comes to the conclusion that Sean himself should kill his mom. 
After finally putting her down, he punches David. David tries shooting Sean and Diane gives him a strong talking to. David apologizes to Sean, but it's too late. The window shatters and the zombies kill David. Diane opens the door trying to save him, letting in all of the zombies. But don't worry, it's revealed in the special features that she never actually died. The Winchester gets overrun. Zombified Pete shows up and Ed gets him in a chokehold, leaving him vulnerable from behind, ultimately leading to Ed getting bitten. Sean, Liz, and Ed hide behind the bar. Ed informs them that there's a cellar below them, which they end up climbing into. Sean figures out how to work the barrel hatch and escapes with Liz, leaving Ed behind. As they get ready to fight on the street, military vehicles and soldiers show up to clear out the zombies. Seconds later, Sean is reunited with Yvonne, who is a part of the charge. Sean and Liz walk off to safety, once again holding hands. Six months later, the world learned to cope with zombies, using them for entertainment purposes. Liz and Sean are officially living together in Sean's flat. Sean tells Liz he's going to step out in the garden for two seconds, where we get the last shot of the film. Sean and zombified Ed sit in the shed and play video games happily ever after.